Howard Rapson was born on September 15, 1912, the only child of Ernest and Lillian Rapson. Although his parents had grown up seven miles apart on the Cornish coast in southwest England, they did not meet until they immigrated separately to Chicago, Illinois. The Rapsons then moved to Toronto just before Howard was born. The School of Practical Science at the University of Toronto, or school as it was commonly known, was the center of Howard's life for 10 years as he earned his bachelor, master, and doctorate degrees in chemical engineering. Howard married Mary Campbell on January 29, 1937 in Toronto. Here they are pictured along with their four children, Margaret, Lorna, Linda, and William Jr., as well as spouses and nine grandchildren at their country home on Pigeon Lake near Bobby Cajun, Ontario. The family portrait was taken in preparation for the celebration of the couple's 50th wedding anniversary. Howard was a research chemist at Canadian International Paper Company from 1940 to 1948 before being promoted to head of pioneering research. Howard is shown on the far right celebrating Dr. C.B. Thorne's 40th anniversary with the company. Dr. Thorne is seated at the center. Howard served in the Reserve Army. As a scientist, however, he was not allowed to serve overseas. Along with friends and colleagues at Canadian International Paper, Howard trained and carried out maneuvers in the foothills of the Laurentian Mountains near Hawkesbury during the war years. In 1953, Howard joined the University of Toronto as Professor of Chemical Engineering. He became University Professor in 1976 and was University Professor Emeritus from 1981 until his retirement in 1997. Here, Howard is pictured in the lab with industry associates. Howard can be considered to be the father of chlorine dioxide bleaching, one of the major developments in the history of the pulp and paper industry. His landmark concept of eliminating all effluent from bleached craft pulp mills by internal recycling was commercialized in Thunder Bay, Ontario in 1977. This concept was well ahead of its time and still stands as the groundbreaking technology in this field. Howard received several honorary degrees, including a Doctor of Science degree from the University of Guelph in Guelph, Ontario in 1990. In 1992, he was the recipient of the John S. Bates Memorial Gold Medal. Here, in 1993, he addresses the delegates attending the business luncheon of the 79th annual meeting of the technical section of the Canadian Pulp and Paper Association. Howard Rapson died on March 16, 1997, leaving behind a legacy of innovative technology in the paper industry.